I'm really uh, been having a good time this week brushing up on these songs. Some of these songs I haven't played in a bazillion years, and I got, got working on them, and of course they're always in the wrong key because I don't sing in my high little girl voice anymore. Lucky for you. Here on the stands floor, you hold me close to you. I'm praying hard that this music won't ever be through. The heat of your body comes right through your shirt. I want to hold you till my arms hurt. All I want to do is dance on and on with you. I want to stay with you tonight. Don't need to question if it's right. I want to curl up in your arms And lie there safe and warm We'll let our clothes fall where they may Cause when the stars begin to fade And that morning sun shines above We'll wake up in love I hear the change in your breathing as you hold me tight It tells me you want me like I want you tonight My body don't question the touch of your hand It moves against yours like waves on the sand And all I want to do Dance on and on with you I want to stay with you tonight Don't need to question if it's right I want to curl up in your arms And stay there safe and warm We'll let our clothes fall where they the stars begin to fade And that morning sun shines above We wake up in love do, 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 do. We wake up in love Ah Thank you. Okay, I see Bob is on and at YouTube, so we're happening on both barrels here. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about what I did. I, I, I lived in, I grew up in California and uh, moved to L.A. when I got kind of started to get real excited about songwriting. And I lived there for about eight years, and I was, that's where I really fell in love with writing. I'm going to do a show probably in January about uh, songwriting in LA but I won a, a few songwriting competitions there and people told me that um, I, well, I, it gave me the courage to take my songs down to Hollywood to publishers to music publishers in Hollywood and everywhere I went they said you know you're really country you need to go to Nashville so finally I thought all right I'll leave and uh, I, I sold everything that wouldn't fit into a five by eight U-Haul and uh, Got a trailer hitch on my on my SUV and hauled all that stuff out here. And then I did what you're supposed to do when you come to Nashville as a songwriter. I starved to death for about two years. <laughs> I got a job uh, working the graveyard shift at a convenience store. That was my first my first experience out here. And then I got a job uh, working in a clothing store called Dillard's, um, and it was up in. Uh, a little bit north of Nashville, uh, Rivergate, and I was working one day, and, and uh, Johnny Cash walked in. So I went up to him, and I asked him if he'd like to see something in black. 
So we had a little laugh, and then we had a nice visit. He talked to me for about 20 minutes. Um, my father was in rehab at the time, and he had just put Johnny Rodriguez in rehab for alcoholism. And so he stood there and talked to me for about 20 minutes. What a human being. What an incredible human being he was. Big loss. Well, his drinking day this ain't over. He says it numbs the pain that he feels in his bones like his old friends feel the rain three quarters of a century his life is almost gone he's an old dog won't learn new tricks Says just leave me alone You can have the shirt Right off his back You can make his house your home When it comes to things We buy and sell You can have all that he owns But don't tell me him to share your fears His own fears he can't name He buried them so long ago But he feels them just the same All he ever got from his old man Were bruises and his name and though he can't recall why he was here, he still feels the shame. Yeah, he still feels the shame. So you ask him, how you feeling? He says, I'm feeling fine. And I guess this aching kind of look Pulls out a pint of rye He's got a bottle full of heartache And there's nothing I can do I can't dry a whole life's worth of tears When mine have fallen too All he ever got his old man with bruises and his name And though he can't recall why he was here He still feels the shame He still feels the shame And the only thing that I can do Is do the best I can Try to teach his grandson other ways to be a man. Well, his drinking days ain't over. He says it numbs the pain that he feels in his bones like his old friend. Feel the rain This was a funny week for me because, as I mentioned earlier, I start doing these songs, I start practicing these songs. I haven't played this song for 20 years, this next song. And um, when I wrote it, I didn't think it was that good of a song. Turns out the problem was not the song, it was the guitar player at the time. <laughs> but fortunately, I have gotten a little better over the last 20 years, and I think it's still a decent song now. <laughs>
Watch how you look at him Don't let it show Your baby blues might tell him more Than he should know Watch how you look at him That boy's so sly You let him steal a kiss And you've kissed your heart goodbye You're flirting with disaster Don't you know what he's after Don't make eyes at him Girl, be strong and don't give in Flirting with disaster Just gets you in trouble faster He'll make the ground shake Then make your heart break Watch how you smile at him Don't give it away That you believe those clever lines you hear him say Watch how you smile at him Everywhere he goes Women stand in line and then they follow like dominoes You're flirting with disaster Don't you know what he's after? Don't make eyes at him Girl, be strong and don't give in Flirting with disaster Just gets you in trouble faster He'll make the ground shake Then make your heart break Watch out, he's coming close Reaching out his hand And the longing to touch him Well, it's more than you can stand Watch out, he's coming close And when he's near Women who think they're so smart They don't think too clear He's flirting with disaster Don't you know what he's after? Don't make eyes at him Girl, be strong and don't give in Flirting with disaster Just gets you in trouble faster He'll make the ground shake Then make your heart break Watch out, girl, he's gonna get you You better watch out Watch out, girl, he's gonna get you. You better watch out. Watch out, girl, he's gonna get you. You better watch out. <laughs> so I hope the audio is, is louder now. Do you think it's, it's good? Hey, Mike Durham. Mike, good. Sorry I didn't make it over there this morning, Mike, but I'm being kind of low profile since the COVID thing. And um, I'm hoping somebody somebody say if the audio is better now, so I can see on the stream if that we're okay. Um, so during the time that I was writing for um, uh, for Greenwood Music, which was owned by Lee Greenwood, um, I had a chance to write with some other writers, and uh, one of them was a guy named Mark Gray, who uh, ended up producing some sides on me. And uh, some sides meaning some songs, by the way. And uh, sides, that must have come from like 45s, that expression. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Oh, good. Sounded good. Good. Okay. Audio is good now. The guitarist is good. Ed, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Great. Oh, Carol's back. Good. So, um, so anyway, the. Um, <coughs> The, the work that I did with, uh, with Mark Gray was a lot of fun because he was just musically really gifted. And, and I really had uh, uh, a lot of support from him as well, which was really nice because I was just starting out as a writer on the road and I didn't have any confidence at all, like none. I mean, everybody had these big hits and I was just like nobody, you know, so it was really wonderful. And he did a great, um, this song I always thought was kind of like a nothing song until he produced it for me and it really came out well. It was on my cassette 
which is no longer in print, I'm sorry to say, but I'm, part of what I'm doing these live streams for is um, it makes me do pre-production on these songs. So what I'm hoping to do is at least do um, an unplugged album of these songs and just kind of like a, maybe a voice and guitar kind of thing, just a little sweetening here, maybe a little pedal steel or a little fiddle or something like that. But, but anyway, some of these songs, um, they're still really good songs, even though they're maybe not as contemporary as what I'm writing now. Certainly not as contemporary, but maybe not as good either. But anyway, well, all these will probably be a lot better because I keep free writing them while I'm supposed to be just practicing them. Anyway. Uh, the weatherman says it's raining back in Nashville. Well, here in California, skies are blue. But these blue California skies can't match the blue in your blue eyes. LA may have sunshine, but Tennessee has you. Oh, oh, Tennessee, I'm jealous as I can be. Tennessee has you with her tonight. Oh, oh, Tennessee, what I'd give to be in Tennessee so I could hold. So many people moved to California The weather's fine and there's a lot to do But me, I sit around all day my heart two thousand miles away They can have the sunshine All I want is you Oh, Tennessee Jealous as I can be Tennessee has you with her Oh, oh, Tennessee, what I'd give to be in Tennessee so I could hold you tight. Has you with her tonight? Oh, Tennessee, what I'd give to be in Tennessee so I could hold you tight. I miss you in Tennessee. I miss you in Tennessee tonight. <laughs> All right. I will, Marianne. Marianne says, come back to Chicago. I love me, Chicago. I do love Chicago. I've got some good songs out of that town. <laughs> That's how I judge everything in my life. You know, it's like if I eat some someplace in some restaurant and I get a song idea there, then that's my favorite restaurant. <laughs> you know? 
if I, if I go to a town and I get a lot of songs out of that town, that's my favorite town. <laughs> it's, just, it's just warped is what it is. Well, here is another song that uh, helped me get my record deal. I mean my record deal. I almost got my record deal too, my uh, writing deal. I was, uh, around the time that I was working for Greenwood, I had some interest from Capitol Records. And uh, this song was a big part of that. They really liked this song and What a Girlfriend song Say, which I played earlier. But then this guy named Jimmy Bowen took over Capitol Records and decided to slash his roster just as I was about to be signed. I drank heavily that evening. <laughs> It didn't help. I thought, well, it worked for my dad, but it gave me no relief whatsoever. Anyway, but that's all right. You know, um, as John Prine told me, I'm a big success. I've been making a living singing and writing all my life, so that's pretty good. Could have been worse. Could have been far worse. Could have been horrible, actually. <laughs> my mom wanted me to be a dental hygienist. I have a song about that, which I will probably play. I'm gonna do, when I do the LA years, the LA songs, um, which probably won't be till January, I'm just really busy with um, all this stuff. Um, after this song, I'll tell you a little more about that. But anyway, uh, this is a song, this is also on that album, the Somewhere Else To Go album, um, and uh, it's got, uh, it's, it's, it's gotten through, oh, I'd say three rewrites at least. Well, you know, I did, used to think I was a little too anal, and then I heard that Guy Clark did the same thing, that he just, it was, he just couldn't stand it if there was a word there that just was too weak. It just wasn't, he, for one word, he'd obsess over it for a week, and then I felt a lot better. <laughs> I should maybe tell you how I wrote this song. I had a crush on this boy from Louisiana. <sighs> yeah. And he dumped me. And I had the normal feminine reaction. I wanted to kill him. But one of the girls in my Sunday school class pointed out to me that Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. And she said, I should just pray about it. So I did. I prayed he'd go bankrupt. I prayed he'd smash up his new pickup. And then I wrote this song. And songwriting is very cathartic. You can process a lot of things writing a song. And after I finished this song, I forgot all about him. Till I had the CD release party. And he showed up at it. And he gained about 30 pounds and lost all his hair and I said, Put my makeup on just right Choose a skirt that fits real tight This'll be your last fight with me And I wanna look good in your memory How do you like my hair this way? Well, it's the first thing you've liked in days my last angry words will be I want to look good in your memory I'm Wearing my crummy baby high heel shoes I remember what they used to do Not when you close your eyes I want you to fantasize But you're still holding me I want to look good in your memory So 
So you want to kiss a love goodbye? Kiss me then, I won't cry. Tears might smear my eyes, you see. And I want to look good in your memory. I'm wearing my cummy baby high heel shoes. I remember what they used to do to you. Tonight, when you close your eyes, I want you to fantasize. You're still holding me I want to look good in your memory In my tight skirt and boob shirt With a little lace you can see I'm gonna look good in your memory So um, around that time also, I had several losses. Um, but before, I should probably talk about the, I didn't mention Venmo, did I, yet? I should probably mention I'm, I'm in this for the bucks, people. I'm in this for this huge, this huge flow of cash that I'm getting from doing this live streaming. Maybe that's not the reason I'm doing this, <laughs> since I'm not getting a huge flow of cash. But um, if you would like to donate to the cause, if, if you have a job still and you're not stuck at home, uh, well, you might be stuck at home, but you might have a job where you're stuck at home, uh, and you want to donate, uh, do have a Venmo, and I do have at PayPal. If you do this, if you do donate through PayPal, PayPal mark it as a gift so that PayPal doesn't get a cut of it, because um, they're not our friend. It's just you and me, our friends, but it's not you and me and PayPal, our friends. We're not like going out for cocktails together, you know? So anyhow, uh, if you want to do that. Also, I, I don't know if I didn't mention yet. I forget. I meant to mention earlier. I give I give my poor engineer a list of the songs, and I tell him when I'm going to talk about stuff, and then I just totally forget. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, I do have a website. I do have uh, CDs on my website, and I also can you can download albums and individual songs on my website. So you can. Uh, you can check that out too. If, um, then, then you're not like just giving me money. You're actually getting something for it. Well, I mean, you're getting something for it now. If hopefully, hopefully this is worth, hopefully this is worth money. Although you know I, that hasn't been proven to me over the years that 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 this is really worth money. You know what's interesting is that, and I'm not I'm not complaining here because I I have very low expectations. But <laughs> about everything, but <laughs> but the uh, the the thing is that musicians get asked all the time to play for benefits. You know, I've I've played for probably a benefit a month for my whole life, just about it seems like. But right now, musicians are the ones who aren't working. We don't have gigs because everything's shut completely down. Uh, but. But that, that's a joke with the engineer. <laughs> but anyway, a little in-joke here. Um, but anyway, the, um, the thing is, if you're not, even, even if you don't buy it from me, buy, buy, buy some music from musicians, especially DIY musicians, independent musicians. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy Beyonce's record. I don't think she's hurting for money. But, um, but do, do buy music from independent artists who are, who are dependent on gigging for a living because uh, we're out of work that's why <laughs> anyway um, let's see so so getting back to what I was talking about before I just started all this commerce conversation which I'm terrible at um, this is a song that uh, that I wrote that I wish I didn't write 
guess I wish I didn't have to write it. But I did. Waddling along on chubby little legs I was only one year old I saw you pick your purse and your car keys up Outside it was raining and cold You said I'll only be gone ten minutes I'm just gonna run to the store Mind your sister, you said as you turned and walked out the front door. Pressed up against the picture window. As the tears rolled down my face. I stood there waving bye-bye. As I watched you drive away Don't leave me, Mama Mama, don't go You say I'll be okay without you I don't know You say I'll be fine, I'm a big girl Say I don't need you, but I don't see how Mama stay. Mama, don't go away. The years rolled by and I grew up. We loved and laughed and fought. I felt so safe and sure you loved me I told you just what I thought Sometimes you didn't really want to hear it Like that one spring day When I said Jimmy wants to marry me Mama, I told him okay Mama, remember how I could get lost Isle away in the grocery store Mama, what if I get lost again This aisle is scary like before Don't leave me, Mama Mama, don't You say I'll be okay without you, but I don't know. You say I'll be fine, I'm a big girl now. You say I don't need you, but I don't see how I'm on the stay. Mama, don't go. Even if you were 99, it wouldn't be okay. How can something that I can't see be taking you away? I call you with my wins and losses. My hopes and dreams you always share. One day I'm gonna dial your number Forgetting you're not there Don't leave me, Mama Don't 
don't go You say I'll be okay without you And I don't know You say I'll be fine, I'm a big girl now You say I don't need you, but I don't see how Mama stay Mama don't go away Mama stay Mama don't go away got a little bit of glimpse during that. <laughs> I lost my mom while I was just getting ready to leave Green Widow. <clears throat> and uh, she was my best friend at the time. This next song is an interesting study. This um, when I wrote this song, and this was one of the ones I was going up and down Music Row trying to get people to listen to, and uh, I went into this one uh, publishing company, and the guy said, I played this song, and he says, well, no one didn't do anything for me. And I went across the street, and another publisher said, now that's a hit. <laughs> and I realized, uh, there's no way to know, really, <laughs> until it gets on the radio. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is uh, the first car song I wrote. I've got one now, it's called Buick, that, that, that there's a video of right there on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube. And, uh, but this was the first time I wrote it. I wrote this about my, my BFF, Cindy. Her husband had a 55 Chevy Bel Air, which was a, a lot of inspiration for me. Actually, you know what? I'm going to play my electric on this. I'm going to play Miss Kitty on this. Because I can. Because she's plugged in, ready to go here. Yeah. Except for maybe capo. Oh, remind me to look at the chat. Well, I'll just look at it now. Let me look at the chat before I start this song. Because I keep forgetting to look at the chat. And that's the best part of doing this for me. I mean, maybe not for you, but for me it is. It says restream chat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, Russ is on. Good. Good to see you, Russ. Uh, things up in Oregon, probably getting a little cool up there by now, too, huh? Let's see here. Here we go. We first kissed on a night like this in your 55 Chevy belly. Cruising through town with the windows down, the wind blowing warm through our head. Down a dead end street, you put me down on the seat. I never put up a fight. Well, it's a long time later, but that radiator ain't the only thing still up tonight. We got a hot Chevrolet, we tuck and roll pleat, and plenty of room on a big leather seat. We do our kissing the American way. We got a hot Chevrolet. So Bel Air costs a lot to repair It's a pain in the butt to restore But you love an antique So when my bones creak I guess you'll just love me more An imported style would be cheaper for mine So sometimes I fuss and we fight But there's no better car Parked under the stars overlooking the city tonight we got a hot Chevrolet, we 
tuck and roll, please. And plenty of room on a big leather seat. We do all kiss in the American way. We got a hot Chevrolet. We got a hot Chevrolet. We got a hot Chevrolet. I wonder if I could play this next one on this electric too. Let's see. Um, no, I don't think so. I think it's an acoustic song. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't read my poem. I forgot to read my poem. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop and read the poem before I play this next song. This, um, I'm doing a poem every every week if if you if you're new to this, and this this struck me uh, because when I was writing on the row, I was um, you know hanging out with and idolizing songwriters a lot, particularly Guy Clark and John Prine, who have always been heroes of mine, but became more so uh, when I was writing on the row. It's like every song I would write a my standard for whether or not it was finished and actually still is was would I play this in front of Guy Clark? If I was in a round with Guy Clark at Douglas Corner, would I trot this song out? And so um, this ended up uh, really hitting me. Because this is, this is by Galway Canal. And uh, he makes a reference here to um, to John Keats and John Milton, but you'll just have to substitute in Guy Clark and John Prine, and then you'll understand the song. I mean, the poem. <laughs> it's called Oatmeal. I eat oatmeal for breakfast. Make it on the hot plate. Put it skim milk on it. I eat it alone. I'm aware it is not good to eat oatmeal alone. Its consistency is such that it's better for your mental health if someone eats it with you. That's why I often think up an imaginary companion to have breakfast with. Possibly it's even worse to eat oatmeal with an imaginary companion. Nevertheless, yesterday morning, I ate my oatmeal with John Keats. Keats said I was right to invite him due to its glutinous texture, gluey lumpishness, hint of slime and unusual willingness to disintegrate, oatmeal must never be eaten alone. He said it is perfectly okay, however, to eat it with an imaginary companion. And he himself had enjoyed memorable porridges with Edmund Spencer and John Milton. He also told me about writing the Ode to Nightingale. He wrote it quickly, he said, on scraps of paper, and he then stuck them in his pocket. But when he got home, he couldn't figure out the order of the stanzas. And he and a friend spread the papers on a table, and they made some sense of it, but he isn't sure to this day if they got it right. He still wonders about the occasional sense of drift between stanzas and the way here and a line there will go into the configuration of a Muslim at prayer, then raise itself up and peer about, then lay down slightly off the mark, causing the poem to move forward with God's reckless wobble. He said someone told him that later in life, Woodsworth heard about the scraps of paper on the table and tried shuffling some stanzas of his own, but it only made matters worse. When breakfast was over, John recited, To Autumn. He recited it slowly, with much feeling, and he articulated the words lovingly, and his odd accent sounded sweet. He didn't offer the story of writing to Autumn. I doubt if there is much of one. But he did say that the sight of a just harvested oat field got him started on it. And two of the lines, for summer has o'erbrimmed their clammy cells, and thou watchest the last oozing hours by hours came to him while eating oatmeal alone. I can see him drawing a spoon through the stuff, gazing into the glimmering furrows, muttering, and it occurs to me, maybe there is no sublime, only the shining of the Amiens tatters, 
For supper tonight, I'm going to have a baked potato left over from lunch. I'm aware that a leftover baked potato can be damp, slippery, and simultaneously gummy and crumbly. Therefore, I'm going to invite Patrick Cavanaugh to join me. That is Oatmeal by Galloway Canal. And thanks to my engineer for sharing his poetry book with me. You look me up and down I've heard about your appetite All over town Hungry eyes I've got a hungry heart You taste each move I make you got a sweet tooth You can't shake Hungry eyes A hungry heart, star for affection, and you've got your menu plan. A hungry heart with a little attention, I'd eat right out of your hand. There's danger in your kiss, only danger tastes like this. Hungry eyes. I've got a hungry heart. Some loves are safe and true, but they don't look at me the way you do. Hungry eyes. I've got a hungry heart. A hungry heart. And you've got your menu plan A hungry heart with a little attention Right out of your hand You look me up and down Heard about your appetite all over town 